Hi, hello, welcome to my channel Learn More Maths. Uh, my name is Varakumar. Uh, today we are going to learn about values of trigonometric ratios for some specific angles. Uh, so this is a very very important table. Uh, you have to remember all the values for the specific angles uh, uh, 0 degrees, 30 degrees, 45 degrees, 60 degrees and 90 degrees. Uh, so it is very very important uh, this is very useful to solve problems uh, in the remaining exercises uh, and uh, next chapter 12th chapter also uh, applications of trigonometry and it is very useful for higher classes also so see here uh, how can we uh, write the tabular form so see here uh, it is a trigonometric ratio these are the trigonometric ratios these are the angles so we have to remember only for these specific angles 0 degrees 30 degrees 45 degrees 60 degrees 90 degrees so i will say some tricks to remember the tabular form so just you have to follow so the trick is applicable only for remembering so you have to write what we ask what he asks in the examination not only uh, you need not to write old table in the examination some specific values you have to uh, remember so whatever value suppose if he asks sin 60 just you have to uh, say what the value of sin 60 so but uh, uh, it, the trick is useful to write the table so see here how can we write up uh, so here a uh, 0 30 45 60 90 degrees is there so for sin 0 sin 30 sin 45 sin 60 sin 90 so for the uh, sin trigonometric ratio we have to write all the values for the specific angles uh, so you have to read this value as uh, sin 0 degrees this is as sin 30 degrees, uh, this is as sin 45 degrees. So first we have to write the values of sine uh, for these specific angles. So here it is sine 0 degrees, this is sine 30 degrees, this is sine 45, sine 60, sine 90. So how can we write, see here, uh, first write, all, uh, write here a 0, starting from 0, uh, write here a 0, so next here 1, so next here 2, 3, Four. So starting from 0, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. First we have to write. So next in the next step divide by 4. All values divide by 4. 0 by 4, 1 by 4, 2 by 4, 3 by 4, 4 by 4. So see here uh, what I did. First I have written 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Then after I have divided by 4. So then take the square root, so write the square root for all, square root of 0 by 4, square root of 1 by 4, square root of 2 by 4, square root of 3 by 4, square root of 4 by 4. So see here, uh, just uh, it is for remembering purpose, uh, first write uh, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, then after divide each value by 4, then after apply square root. Uh, so now we have to write the value. So square root 0 by 4 is 0. Square root 0 is 0. So now you have to remember sin 0 is 0. Sin 0 degrees is 0. So here uh, write square root 1 by square root 4. So square root 1 is 1. Square root 4 is 2. So you have to remember that sin 30 degrees value is 1 by 2 sin 30 is 1 by 2 so here uh, you can cancel 2 ones and 2 twos 2 ones and 2 twos so here square root 1 is 1 so in the denominator square root 2 will be so see here what i did just cancel by 2 2 ones and 2 twos so here square root 1 is 1 square root 2 you have to write so here uh, 
write square root 3 on the numerator divided by square root 4 in the denominator square root 4 will be uh, 2 so square root 4 value is a 2 so just cancel 4 and 4 we can get root 1 root 1 value is 1 so now you have to remember sin 0 is 0 sin 30 degrees is 1 by 2 sin 45 degrees is 1 by root 2 sin 60 degrees is root 3 by 2 sin 90 degrees is 1 so like this you can remember so it is very very important uh, so first if you write a sign uh, sign theta so remaining all uh, you can write very easily so see here this is very important uh, so writing sine theta is very very important for all the specific angles uh, so just uh, read uh, sine 0 degrees is 0 sine 30 degrees is 1 by 2 sine 45 degrees is 1 by root 2 sine 60 degrees is root 3 by 2 sine 90 degrees is 1 so I uh, just you have to remember the uh, steps I uh, how I have written the uh, values first uh, starting from 0 right 0 1 2 3 4 then after divide each value by 4 so it becomes 0 by 4 1 by 4 2 by 4 3 by 4 4 by 4 then apply square root so square root 0 by 4 square root 1 by 4 square root 2 by 4 square root 3 by 4 square root 4 by 4 so now this value is 0 1 by 2 1 by root 2 root 3 by 2 1 so we can say this uh, we can apply this for form palm trick it is also known as palm trick so see here uh, uh, using palm trick also we can remember so just uh, uh, see here uh, let it is a little finger this is a, a little finger a ring finger middle finger four finger thumb so just you have to uh, identify the fingers uh, starting from a little finger little finger once again see here little finger ring finger middle finger four finger thumb finger so here let this starting from the left to right uh, let small this is a little finger is known as small finger so let it is 0 degrees 30 degrees 45 degrees 60 degrees 90 degrees so first to take 0 so sin theta is equal to so square root of number of fingers divided by 4 so see here how can we apply so let it is 0 so let first this is 0 degrees so fold this 0 degrees so now sin 0 we require so number of fingers on the left side so there are no fingers on the left side number of fingers on the left side to the folded finger is 0 so we can say sin theta equal to square root of 0 by 4 so why the number of fingers on the left side to the folded fingers are 0 so just uh, since it is 0 degrees uh, sin 0 is square root of 0 by 4 that is 0 so in the same way second one this is how much 30 degrees so fold here so now sin 30 degrees equal to number of fingers on the left side to the folded finger is 1 so square root of 1 by 4 so sin 30 equal to square root of 1 by 4 so square root 1 by 4 is 1 by 2 so next fold the middle finger so the value of the middle finger is 60 degrees uh, sorry 45 degrees so sin 45 equal to square root of number of fingers on the left side is 2 so it becomes sin 45 is square root of 2 by 4 so square root of 2 by 4 is 1 by root 2 so in the same way let this is 60 degrees and fold the four finger so number of fingers on the left side is 3 therefore sin 60 is square root 3 by 4 square root 3 by 4 so in the same way so this is the thumb it indicates 90 degrees so fold thumb so number of fingers on the left side are 4 so it is 90 sin 90 equal to square root of 4 by 4 is equal to 1 so just uh, this is palm trick it is known as palm trick so whatever it may be just you have to remember the values whether you apply palm trick or other trick just you have to remember okay so now just we have to write cos theta tan theta cosec theta sec theta and cot theta for all the specific angles so for writing cos theta cos values just we have to write from the right to left so here right to left we have to write so first write one here so next write root 3 by 2 here 
so next write 1 by root 2 here so next write 1 by 2 here so next write 0 here so just you have to follow this so first uh, we have written all the specific values for sine theta so next to write the cos theta just we have to write uh, right to left so here 1 we have to write uh, root 3 by 2 so next 1 by root 2 1 by 2 0 just we have to write reverse so now we can read like this cos 0 degrees is 1 cos 30 degrees is root 3 by 2 cos 45 degrees is 1 by root 2 cos 60 degrees is 1 by 2 cos 90 degrees is 0 so cos values uh, these are the cos values for the specific angles okay so next we have to write uh, tan values so we know tan theta equal to sin theta by cos theta so by dividing the sine values with cos values we can get a tan values so see here how can we get a tan 0 sin 0 by cos 0 so that is 0 by 1 sin 0 by cos 0 0 by 1 is 0 only 0 by 1 is 0 so next to tan 30 equal to sin 30 by cos 30 sin 30 by cos 30 1 by 2 by root 3 by 2 we get a 1 by root 3 here 1 by 2 by root 3 by 2 see here 1 by 2 by root 3 by 2 we get a 1 by root 3 1 by root 3 so just 2 2 gets cancelled we can get 1 by root 3 so next to tan 45 1 by root 2 by 1 by root 2 sin 45 by cos 45 that is 1 by root 2 divided by 1 by root 2 we get 1 we get 1 so tan 45 value is 1 so tan 60 root 3 by 2 by 1 by 2 so here we get a root 3 by 2 by 1 by 2 so 2 2 gets cancelled we can get root 3 by 1 is root 3 root 3 by 1 is root 3 so next to tan 90 1 by 0 so 1 by 0 it is infinite 1 by 0 is infinite we can say not defined so we can say it is as not defined so these are the values of a tan so we can write here now we have to read like this tan 0 is 0 tan 30 is 1 by root 3 tan 45 is 1 tan 60 is root 3 tan 90 is infinite it is not defined so next we have to write cosec values we know cosec theta and sin theta are the multiplicative inverses so cosec theta equal to 1 by sin theta so just we have to write the reciprocals of sin theta so here 0 is there so we have to write 1 by 0 so 0 becomes 1 by 0 so 1 by 0 is also not defined it is 1 by 0 it is not defined just i am writing infinite sin 0 is uh, cosec 0 is infinite so next cosec 30 so 1 by 2 just we have to write the reciprocal 2 by 1 so 2 by 1 is 2 so next uh, cosec 45 re reciprocal of 1 by root 2 is root 2 just we have to write uh, root 2 so next uh, reciprocal of root 3 by 2 is 2 by root 3 so 2 by root 3 so in the same way a reciprocal of 1 is 1 by 1 is also 1 so these are the values of cosec theta so just see here cosec 0 is infinite cosec 30 is 2 cosec 45 is root 2 cosec 60 is 2 by root 3 cosec 90 is 1 so these are the values of cosec theta so in the same way we have to uh, write the sec theta so sec theta and cos theta these two are the multiplicative inverses uh, we have sec theta equal to 1 by cos theta so these are the values of cos theta so just we have to write the reciprocals uh, to get the sec values uh. so here 1 is there 1 by 1 is also 1 1 by 1 is 1 so root 3 by 2 it becomes 2 by root 3 2 by root 3 so next uh, 1 by root 2 it becomes uh, root 2 so next 1 by 2 it becomes 2 by 1 so 0 is there 1 by 0 so 1 by 0 is infinite so these are the values of sec theta uh, see here sec 0 is 1 sec 30 is 2 by root 3 sec 45 is root 2 sec 60 is 2 sec 90 is infinite so just we can write a reverse of cosec theta also 
so here uh, just starting from 1 just we have to we can write reverse also 1 2 by root 3 root 2 2 and infinite so you can write as your own so just it is very easy sec theta equal to 1 by cos theta so next we have to write cot theta values cot theta is equal to 1 by tan theta cot theta and tan theta these two are the multiplicative inverses so to get the cat value you have to write the multiplicative inverse of a uh, tan value so these are the tan values so now have to write the reciprocals here it is 0 by 1 so we have to write 1 by 0 1 by 0 is nothing but infinite so here 1 by root 3 is there root 3 by 1 so just it is root 3 so here 1 is there 1 by 1 is also 1 so root 3 is there root 3 by 1 is there it becomes 1 by root 3 so here only root 3 is there so what is there in the denominator 1 so you think that it is a 1 by root 3 so here 1 by 0 is there so it becomes 0 by 1 that is 0 0 by 1 is 0 so now these are the values of cot so cot 0 is infinite cost uh, cot 30 is root 3 cot 45 is 1 cot 60 is 1 by root 3 cot 90 is 0 so this is uh, uh, like this we have to uh, write the tabular form of uh, trigonometric ratios for the specific angles so it is very very important uh, just you have to remember sign automatically you can write a uh, remaining all trigonometric ratio so using palm trick also it is applicable for sign only so if you write sign remaining all very easy to write uh, so for writing cos just we have to write reverse for writing tan we have to divide sin values by cos values for writing cosec values we have to write the reciprocals of sin values for writing secant values we have to write the reciprocals of cos values for writing cot values we have to write the reciprocals of tan values so this is the uh, tabular form for uh, values of trigonometric ratios for some specific angles so this is very very important uh, just you have to write and uh, read and write read and write so many times so uh, you can get a uh, uh, perfect uh. so that's all today's class uh, we will meet in the next class uh, by doing problems in exercise 11.2 so so thanks for watching